Hey guys, it's Dale at Whole Shot. Well, this is actually the morning after the ride I'm about to show you up on my favorite uh, Sierra Mountain Pass, <clears throat> where I do a little bit more spirited riding. Uh, but I do some cruising up there too, and then, you know, if it's a nice road in the middle of nowhere, I'll ride about uh, what I consider maybe 70% or something. Try to stay on the road. But uh, one thing I did, I got the camera mounted nice and right, up higher, view of the road was really good. But unfortunately, there's a silver decal on the headlight that is a decal. It can be removed, and the sun reflects on it, and it's right in the middle. And nothing I can do about it. I, well, I can now. I'm going to take it off, but who knew, you know? So... Um, but anyway, the bike did really good, um, and actually, um, I'm pretty confident now this mid-pipe is absolutely going to be fine. So, um, I, uh, I was able to uh, uh, touch my boot on the left, on a couple left corners, and uh, I still, I have the peg feelers removed, they're about an inch tall, I take those off anyway and I touch the side stand, okay, but the pipe, tons of clearance. So um, I think we're going to leave this mid-pipe alone. It'll be a matter of getting the sag set up right. I'm going to do a little video on that next, just how I set up my bike. And uh, if you're a real big guy, eventually uh, there probably will be different springs for this bike, you know, or that's something we could look into in the future because once you get the sag set up with this setup and everything, and you know, for the street guy, the pegs are going to be fine. Um, if you're a serious track bike guy, you're going to want to put rear sets on this thing, probably. You could still do intermediate and probably, you know, blow the doors on a lot of guys with this bike even. And it's certainly not a full-on sport bike, you know that. So, anyway, I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to show you just a couple things real quick. So you haven't even cleaned it. The bugs are still on it. <clears throat> but look down in there. See that stupid, luckily it's not a silk screen, it is a decal. And you know, I saw it once a long time ago, barely, when I had the camera down doing those speed runs, testing the mufflers, but forgot about it and I raised the camera up in this area. I mean, it's really got a good view, but that thing, it's a bummer. Half the time in the video, you're kind of looking through it, but oh well. The videos are already taken, they're, they're pretty good videos other than, uh, than that. Um, Here's the front tire, uh, here, I got videos on that already, <clears throat> here's your rear tire, I already kind of did that in the video, <clears throat> the old slow dude, here, so using all the tires, tires work good, these Dunlops are pretty darn good, for a street tire I would not upgrade until you wear them out and then you can decide, but they're decent, foot pegs, Never touched. Here, I did touch. See that little spot right there? I ground the side stand. <clears throat> uh, this side, never touched. And the pipe, tons of clearance. It's still inboard, you know, of the foot peg. And I thought that would be the case, but till I can prove it with my own writing. <clears throat> Good thing is, that spring can be removed. So, if you're a bigger guy in the future, uh, and it's going to be too weak, we might, um, we might look into that for some of your bigger riders. I'm only about 160, so I'm about 170 suited up. Um, I did redo, they come, they come extremely soft stock as far as the settings. I'm going to get into that uh, in another video. And this is just the 14, 14 Street Core that I ran yesterday. I prefer the black muffler. What I'm going to do next is I'll probably put some brand new mufflers on the bike one at a time and take a video so you can see it on YouTube. And I'll, I'll take pictures, of course, for my future updated website. So, yeah, I've got a notepad over here, and 
Let me see here. Yeah, right now I have my SAG numbers. <coughs> Rider SAG, static SAG. I have 37 in the front and I have 42 in the rear just to try it. I could even, I prefer, usually I go 35 in the rear and 38 to 40 in the front. But it feels pretty good with this. I wanted to see if it would be a little... You didn't know how the shock's going to react yet. I all I did was make sure the dampening settings were stock. Haven't played with that yet. The bike handle's really good with me on it. But I can stiffen up the back just a little bit more. Or raise it a little. Uh, and that would be a good thing to do. I'll probably go to maybe 39 in the rear. So, Okay, well let's get on with the video now. And I'll uh, probably break it up in... Uh, uh, probably be four videos because I did a lot of filming, but we'll see. Okay, so let me get over the uh, where we were yesterday, and you'll see the little intro, and then we'll we'll get riding the green, Mr. Green. Cheers. Hey guys, well made it out to my favorite Sierra Pass, about an hour and a half from my house, my shop. It's a Friday, beautiful day in September, 2020 here. I got Mr. Green. I'm going to take you for a little ride. This is one of my favorite roads. There is some cars and traffic. Not near as much as up on uh, the Virginia City ride. So, anyway, I put together a 14 inch uh, polished muffler. I like the black better, but I had a brand new canister ready to go, so I built this one uh, last night. And it's a street core. <laughs> Still be plenty loud when you're on it, but uh, you know, you saw my other muffler. We're not going to do any more muffler testing today, it's too windy. You can hear. 